Well, good evening to you folks. Thanks for coming on to this late edition of the UK Your Video Blog for this evening. It's now around 9.25 p.m. here on the 13th of December, and we've got certainly a wild week. We're well into the process of that wild week. Uh, strong to severe gale force winds yet again today across Scotland. We've seen plenty of snow up over the higher ground as well. And it's going to be a pretty wild night as well, folks. Those isobars continue to be tightly packed. We're seeing very strong westerly winds, and those westerly winds are blowing in colder air that's getting driven all the way down and over a deep trough that we're seeing over the North Atlantic. It's basically feeding very cold air off Greenland, across the Atlantic, and of course the system that we're currently uh, experiencing at the moment uh, is basically dragging that cold air in off the Atlantic and uh, helping uh, reduce snow levels down to around 100 metres tonight. So of course, combined with the, the very, very strong to severe gale force winds that will howl a good part of tonight, uh, we also will see the rain turning more to snow uh, down to fairly low levels, not down to like sea level or anything, but certainly about 100 metres or above. We could see very, very dangerous travel conditions tonight. We're going to have a quick look here off the GFS model. Every single day we're seeing big, big changes, and uh, it's so difficult with the atmosphere, the environment that we've got at the moment, very complex. This is potentially one of the wildest weeks of weather across Ireland and the UK in many, many years. Now, this is the current look of the GFS model. This is off the Media Group website, and you can see a, a centre of the northwest of Scotland. Of course, uh, Ireland and particularly the northern part of the Republic into the northern uh, into Ulster, we're seeing very tightly packed isobars. Notice again. So at the centre here, to the south of that centre, we've got the strongest winds, and of course they're howling in off the Atlantic, we've seen a, a wave height off the Donegal coast of 66 feet, that's 20.4 metres, apparently that's the highest wind, uh, height, wave height uh, in Irish waters on record, which was quite interesting, I found the tightly packed icebergs you notice here, across Northern Ireland, could be seeing 70 to 80 mile an hour gusts tonight across that exposed coast, and of course down uh, into Strathclyde, south through Ayrshire and in Dumfries and Galloway as well. We could be seeing uh, winds uh, quite easily into the 70 to 80 mile per hour range tonight. So combine that with, uh, uh, with of course, north to south uh, routes, quite dangerous travel conditions. But as well as that, folks, we have to look at uh, the potential for snow anywhere from the southern highlands as well as uh, through the southern uplands of Scotland. And potentially we could be seeing some heavy snow up over the northern Pennines as well, up through over the, the York Moors um, tonight. So a pretty horrendous night to be out and about. But I'm going to continue to skip ahead through the sequence, folks. And uh, you'll continue to see that the, the that low starting to skip off towards Norway and Sweden. Uh, and the ice bars uh, remain fairly tightly packed. This is for tomorrow. So a pretty strong westerly wind blowing across Scotland and into England as well. Continuing to stay quite unsettled. See another system here that's actually scooting across the, uh, the, the Midlands. And that actually could produce some pretty strong winds across the uh, English Channel uh, over the course of th uh, Wednesday into Thursday. And I'm going to uh, skip, continue to skip through the sequence, folks. And you can see an area of low pressure starting to appear in the chart. That there is a system that we're watching very, very carefully. It will continue to deepen. It looks as if it will continue to deepen as it crosses the south of England uh, late in the day on Thursday and through Friday. We're going to skip back and look at the track of the system. This is quite important um, because it looks as if the uh, the system, the low pressure center itself, will basically cut across Bristol and through London. Look at that there. This is for Friday. The center of low pressure sitting directly over London. And what we'll see is very, very powerful winds across the south of England, heavy rain. And as the system pushes east into Scandinavia, there will be backside colder winds coming down, and I really do think, folks, that later uh, Friday we could be looking at snowfall down as far even as as Kent and across the higher parts of the southeast of England and south of England. 
But that is a certain a system that we really continue need to watch. Now, uh, just yesterday or the day before, the GFS actually lost sight of this area, low pressure all together. Now it's back under the models again. It's jumping up and down these models. Very hard to pinpoint uh, the details, but we need to watch this very carefully. This could be a very, very big storm. This could be one of the strongest storms that hit the south of England since 1987. It wouldn't surprise me. We need to keep a uh, close eye on this. And as we skip ahead into the weekend, look at the deep low that's going to be cutting across uh, northern uh, Holland into the north of Germany. We could be looking at a severe storm for both the low countries, northern France, the low countries of Belgium and Holland, into northern Germany and into the southern part through uh, Denmark and into the southern part of Scandinavia.